In this video tutorial, we will explain the five steps to run an experiment with Crystal 16 using the Crystallization System software. Open the Crystallization System software by double clicking its icon. The File tab allows you to open an existing experiment or start a new Crystal 16 or Crystalline experiment. The software automatically connects to the available instrument. To connect manually, open the connection panel, select Crystal 16 from the network and click Connect. Other controls in the upper right corner include. Settings shows default experiment settings and maintenance information. System status gives information about the different system temperatures and humidity. The refluxing state should always be enabled. The log button shows the system's logs and events. The info button shows the software version. With the help button, you can find information about the system. A user manual is also available, as well as a license request button, where you can create a license. On the left you see an overview of the 16 reactors. Start a Crystal 16 experiment by clicking on New Crystal 16 Experiment. In the Details tab, enter the experiment name. Username and description. If the license allows, turn on feedback control, then choose the cap type. Fill in the details of feedback control. Provide details for all four vials, such as compound. Solvent. Concentration. Supersaturation. And type of stirrer. Details from one vial can be copied to all others and changed accordingly. After filling the experiment details, continue to the Experiment Program tab. Drag the desired action from the left actions column and fill in the details. The available actions are Linear or quadratic ramp to increase or decrease the temperature. Hold, to stay at a constant temperature for a specific duration. Prompt will keep the experiment conditions the same until completed. Prompt can be used to check any parameter, such as whether the solution is clear. Tune to calibrate the transmissivity to 100% at clear solution. The tuning step is crucial for accurate transmissivity measurement. The program tile can be repeated by increasing the group repeat. The steps programmed will be shown in the program chart below. After programming an experiment, click Run and Results. Choose the reactor where the vials are placed. You can start the experiment by clicking on the Play button or schedule the start time. Experiment starts with a blue light above the selected reactor, which turns green when complete. You can pause, stop or eject the programmed experiment from the reactor by clicking on the respective buttons. On the left side of the screen you can observe the transmissivity of each vial, as well as the experiment conditions such as temperature, stirring, and running status of the experiment. The graph shows the live trend of experiment parameters, such as reactor and target temperature, stirring speed, and transmissivity. Select or deselect parameters to display on the graph by clicking on their labels. At the bottom, the running experiment parameters are displayed. Once the experiment is complete, click Export to export the data. You can export the entire experiment or a specific part by entering a time interval. Export the experiment as a CSV file by clicking Save. After the experiment, go to the Analyze tab. You can analyze the data as transition points, solubility analysis or nucleation analysis for induction time experiments. Click on the transition points detection settings to set the required values. Check the transition points in each vial. Drag the markers to modify clear and cloud points. You can add or delete transition points by right-clicking the graph. The table below shows all transition points. You can exclude or include transition points in the table. Solubility analysis gives you the solubility curve and metastable zone width. The graph axis can be changed by right-click or dragging the pointers. The curve fitting parameters are given below. The color of the curve can be changed as desired. The solubility table gives all the transition points. The experiment report can be generated and saved as doc, docx or PDF file. 
a performed experiment will always be available in the Open Experiments in the Files tab, until deleted by clicking on the discard sign. To save an experiment for future analysis, click Save and Close. To copy the experiment to another reactor, select Copy. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to us.